welcome back to another lecture on Fourier transform so here we are going to see a very interesting property that is Percival identity property so this is very useful uh, to solving the problems point of view so let's see what is the statement and uh, how to prove that statement so we will go through the Percival identity statement. So, statement says that if we have Fourier transform of two functions f of x and g of x, we have two functions f of x and g of x and their Fourier transforms are what? Capital F of w and capital G of w. If that thing happens, then we have the two relations. So, what are they? So, first says that integration from minus infinity to infinity capital F of W capital G bar of W DW equal to integration minus infinity to infinity F of X G bar of X DX and second property says that integration minus infinity to infinity okay mod of f of w square dw equal to integration minus f2 sorry minus infinity to infinity mod of small f of x whole square dx. So, now where is uh, where we have used uh, this bar. So, bar means complex conjugate. So, we will prove the statement. So, first statement we have to prove so, before going to see, we will see what will be the bar. So, if I have z equal to a plus i b, so what will happen? It will be either this or we can write e to the power i theta form also that is cos theta plus i sin theta. Now, if I write z bar, z bar means complex conjugate of z. So, this is a minus i b okay which will be what cos theta minus i sin theta or e to the power minus i theta this one so this is called complex conjugate another important thing which we have to see uh, or the application when we will solve the second property that is if i multiply z with z bar so what will happen it will be a minus i b sorry a plus i b into a minus i b that is a square plus b square. But what is mod z? Mod z is square root of a square plus b square. So that means from this two what we got the relation? We got the relation mod z square equal to z into z bar. So this property is or this properties of complex numbers we are use, going to use to prove this. So, first part we have to see. So, first part we will start with the RHS. So, what RHS says? So, RHS says that integration minus infinity to infinity small f of x g bar x this dx. Okay. Now, what then we can write if we have the small f of x. So, for small f of x we know in Fourier series sorry Fourier transform not series this capital F of w is 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity small f of x e to the power minus i w x d x we know this one ok and the inverse inverse Fourier transform is what it is the small f of x equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity this 
कैपिटल एफ ऑफ डब्ल्यू ई टू दावर आई डब्ल्यू एक्स डी वट डब्ल्यू नाउ दिस यू हैव टू दिस इन प्लेस ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स यू हैव टू पुट दिस फॉर्मूला सो इफ वी पुट दिस फॉर्मूला वट विल हैपन इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी देन वन बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू पाए इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी एफ ऑफ डब्ल्यू ओके ई टू दी पावर आई डब्ल्यू एक्स देन जी बार एक्स डी डब्ल्यू डी एक्स ओके सो आई है रिटर्न ऑल टूगेदर नाउ वॉट विल डू हियर नाउ विल डू हियर चेंज ऑफ वट इंटीग्रेशन सो इफ यू डू चेंज ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन वॉट विल हैपन वील सी सो माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी सो एफ ऑफ डब्ल्यू वी कैन टेक फर्स्ट देन इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी वन बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू पाए ओके देन वी कैन राइट जी बार एक्स ओके दिस e to the power i w x dx okay then d w now we'll concentrate on this part okay this inside integral so inside integral what we have we have g bar now if we have g bar then what will happen we know that when we have z e to the power it will be e to the power i theta when we we have z bar it will be e to the power minus i theta so now we'll see the formula we know f of w equal to this so similarly we can write g of w so g of w is what 1 by square root of 2 pi okay integration minus infinity to infinity g of x e to the power minus i w x dx okay similarly okay x will be 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity this capital g of w into e to the power i w x d w okay now if i take g bar then what will happen so g bar means this so if it is g bar it will be this g bar and what will be this e to the power i w x will be e to the power minus i w x dx okay then what will get g bar of w will be 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity g bar x e to the power i w x d dx okay so this will get now this formula we have to apply here here okay in place of g bar you see here if we see this is there okay the right hand side it is there so simply i can write this integral so this will be integral minus infinity to infinity f of w into this will be capital g bar w into dw okay which if you see which will be our what lhs so this is lhs so it is proved okay now we'll see the second part second part is very easy because if i take uh, g of x equal to f of x and if you use the first property then what will happen this one will be minus infinity to infinity f of x into what g bar of x will be f bar of x so it will be f bar x dx so this one will be what according to the property uh, it will be minus infinity to infinity f of w into f bar w dw but we know the property that if we have complex number z and z bar if we take the uh, product then it will be mod z square 
So, here if we apply that property, it will be minus infinity to infinity mod f of w square dw. But the left part is what? f of x, f bar x. So, similarly it will be minus infinity to infinity f of x is mod square dx. So, finally we will get minus infinity to infinity mod f of x square dx equal to minus infinity to infinity mod capital F of w square dw. So, this will be proved. So, in this way second property also uh, we can establish. 